the president has said it's unacceptable for Iran to have nuclear weapons or the capability to make nuclear weapons. Do you believe it's unacceptable? We have North Korea already possessing nuclear weapons and delivery systems, and we find that unacceptable. So the word unacceptable is again one of these words which means a lot and at the same time sometimes nothing. So what would you advise a president if the, if the Israeli Prime Minister comes to the Oval Office and the Israeli Prime Minister is coming to the Oval Office within the next month and says we have to go because we believe time is not on our side with respect to doing something about Iran. Not only are they developing the capability but they're also developing an immunity from attack. What I would say to them is this. First of all, we deterred the Soviet Union, which was much more threatening than Iran ever will be. We deterred China. We are deterring North Korea. We can deter Iran. And second, we will proclaim the United States that any threat from Iran involving nuclear weapons or even other kinds of weapons against any country in the Middle East, Arab or Israel, will be viewed by the United States as a threat against the United States and but, respond accordingly. But as you know, the problem is not just Iran having nuclear weapons, being able to contain them. It is that there will be nuclear proliferation in the Middle East. No, and not, more and more countries not, not will at all. Go. Not at all. If That's what they say. I don't care what they say. You know, you have to have much more than just the capacity to build nuclear weapons. You have to have delivery systems that are tried and tested and capable of delivering nuclear weapons. You have to have a lot of other systems systems to make it operative. Mm -hmm. I think a guarantee from the United States of complete protection, which has satisfied the Japanese and the Koreans, which has protected the Europeans under much more threatened conditions, can work in the Middle East. But we have to be firm and credible about it. And we also have to say a conflict is not in our interest because we know if there's a conflict, we will be hit by the Iranians. Do you want another war in that part of the world? Do you want the price of oil to go up? Do you want our troops in Afghanistan and in Iraq to be threatened? I mean, I don't understand how anyone can seriously argue that this is in the American interest. To see Iran bombed uh, and That's create right. and unleash their whatever armaments they have against the Middle East or the United going to do States. It. What evidence is there except anxiety and fear that they're going to do it? So the sum total of what you believe about this is that we can live with a nuclear Iran. 